The film opens in New York on Halloween, the most terrifying and blood-curdling holiday. While trick or treating in the neighborhood, a group of pals is out when one of the children challenges another to knock on a reputed haunted home. The child approached the door gently when all of a sudden it shone brightly, revealing a creature made of tentacles with one eye. It left the child's candies behind and turned its back on the child, turning instead on the shackled Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange came up with a wonderful idea to use bubble gum to confine the beast after attempting to contain it, but it kept escaping. When other monsters emerge from behind Doctor Strange, he gives the kids Halloween candy after capturing a monster. The children flee in terror, only to run upon the valiant creature known as the Hulk. When one of the monsters starts chasing the children, Doctor Strange has his hands full with three creatures at once. With a punch, Hulk sends the monster flying and leaps in front of it, escorting the kids away from the fighting and into safety. After making his way back to Doctor Strange, the Hulk renders the remaining creatures asleep. Given that they think someone is responsible for these seemingly random monster assaults on the Sanctum Sanctorum, Doctor Strange emphasizes that their goal should be to confine them rather than to destroy them. It seems that Hulk was sent to New York by Doctor Strange to assist with the monster problem. The Hulk was ready to slam one of the monster's faces when he felt sleepy and reverted to his smaller, sleeping human form, Bruce Banner. Doctor Strange uses ancient magic to speak with Banner's unconscious mind since he is skeptical of Banner's present state. Banner says he typically recalls what the Hulk does, but lately he can't remember where he was when he was the Hulk or how he got there. Banner interrupts the talk to alert Doctor Strange of creatures who are coming from behind him. When Banner changed into the Hulk and began fighting, he was unable to finish his explanation that they were friends he had asked for help. Unexpectedly, Hulk attacks Warwolf because he thinks they are going for Doctor Strange. The vampire Nina Price attempted to use her mind control abilities on him after he assaulted Warwolf since she didn't think it was appropriate, but Hulk shoved her away. When Doctor Strange attempts to stop them from fighting, Warwolf shoots him instead. The zombie agent, Agent Jasper Sitwell, attempted to clarify and identify himself as the paranormal containment unit of Shidielti when Man-Thing sought to subdue Hulk covertly, Doctor Strange believed that Man-Thing shouldn't have been harmed by his abilities activating. Hulk pierced its body with a blow, but Man-Thing rapidly rebuilt himself. The battle was stopped when Doctor Strange decided he could take no more and intervened with his abilities. Director Nick Fury of S.H.I.E.L.D. made suggestions for Sitwell's crew, which is formally introduced by Doctor Strange when he performs the spell on Banner once again to communicate with his unconscious mind. Doctor Strange reveals that he has been assisting Fury on the Paranormal Containment Unit in resolving their problems so that they may work together more effectively. Since he believes he has the Hulk under control, Banner declares he is okay. But in light of recent occurrences, Doctor Strange raises doubts. He says that the borders between dimensions, particularly those between the Dream Dimension and the Waking World, becoming weaker and more porous as Halloween approaches. He claims to have learned about a malevolent force operating covertly a few days before. The young Benito Serrano was being affected by it, and his parents asked for his assistance. Their son's peculiar sleeping habits worried them. Doctor Strange passes through Benito, who is a prisoner in a labyrinth being pursued by a Minotaur, one of his worst nightmares, to reach the Dream Dimension. Nightmare appears and confounds Benito despite Doctor Strange's best efforts to get him to confront his fears. As he attempts to pursue him, Doctor Strange argues that he doesn't fear Nightmare and that Nightmare gets his strength from fear. He lost Benito to him because he was too preoccupied with the Nightmare. He made the decision to go back to the real world after attempting to locate Benito in the Dream Dimension but failing to get beyond the ethereal barrier. It was too late for him to see that Benito had already changed into his worst Nightmare, a Minotaur. Benito wasn't the only monster who appeared in New York, as revealed by Doctor Strange, who has already imprisoned one more creature in a different chamber. Doctor Strange says he has confirmed the identities of four victims so far, but they are becoming more powerful and difficult to control, so he is calling on the Hulk and the victims to help. He worries that they will be imprisoned in these shapes indefinitely if he is unable to release them from them soon. He believes that in order to penetrate our world, while the barrier between dimensions is at its thinnest, Nightmare is utilizing these children and exerting his control over them. Doctor Strange requests Banner to allow him to speak with the Hulk, implying that he has the key to solving this puzzle. To make the Hulk emerge, Doctor Strange faked an assault on himself. Hulk clarifies that everything was staged, and then goes on to say that he has been angry lately, since he was made to go back to Banner just as he was going to beat up the opponents. Doctor Strange reveals that in light of recent occurrences, Banner and Hulk could have been influenced by Nightmare, 
Doctor Strange confirms his hypothesis by stating that Man-Thing causes terror in anybody who knows it. Hulk asserts that he has no concerns, but Doctor Strange speculates that Banner could have because they are the same physical being. In light of the circumstances, Doctor Strange intends to use Banner to enter the dream dimension and face Nightmare once again. While he's there, he requests that Agent Sitwell's team keep their true bodies safe and keep an eye on the monsters that were previously caught to make sure they're in continual contact. To keep Sitwell informed of developments, he gives Sitwell a medallion. Later, Banner and Doctor Strange find themselves in the Dream Dimension, which he identifies as Gamma Base, the location of his first Hulk transformation. According to Doctor Strange, the location was influenced by the memories and impressions that people left behind. He offers Banner a talisman that helps them discover each other in the midst of the mayhem because he fears what the Dream Dimension has in store for them. Banner soon discovered that he was living out the events of his first transformation into the Hulk, although this time, the Hulk was entirely different from him. The Hulk charges right at them, but Doctor Strange blocks his path and begs Banner to take back control of the creature, as is a part of his mind. Banner says he's Oak with the way things are and doesn't have any problems with Hulk. Hulk replies that it is his nightmare after he clarifies that it isn't his. While urging Banner to flee and hide, Doctor Strange attempts to contain the Hulk with magical shackles and talk sense into his mind. Doctor Strange discovers Banner after the Hulk escapes, and informs him that cooperation between the Hulk and himself is the only way to escape the dream dimension as science is inapplicable there. Doctor Strange attempts to control Hulk when he discovers them, but Banner shows up and uses missile launchers to assault Hulk when the shield malfunctions. Doctor Strange tries to reason with Hulk, telling him that there is a deception being played on him. Doctor Strange follows Hulk, who is pursuing Banner, but Nightmare stops him with a magical barrier when Nightmare appears and swings it around, claiming that Banner is attempting to fool him. Doctor Strange and the Hulk are separated by Nightmare, who tells him that when he takes care of Banner, the Hulk will finally be able to transcend human reason and turn into his ultimate monster. Strange attempts to stop Nightmare from leaving because he thinks that once he has control of Hulk, he would use him to create a gateway to the outside world. Banner has deduced a hint for defeating the Dream Dimension in the meanwhile. He experiments to confirm his idea after realizing that, as a dreamer, he has influence over what transpires there. Banner turns into the Hulk and goes on a rampage back at the Sanctum Sanctorum. The Hulk managed to escape Agent Sitwell's crew and reach the rooftop. Warwolf pursues him from the rooftops, while Agent Sitwell and Nina use a motorcycle to keep up the pursuit. Man-Thing walked through the sewers, doing his thing. Doctor Strange, in the meanwhile, tracks down the Hulk in the Dream Dimension and calms him down by pointing out that heroes don't torment the helpless Banner while allowing Nightmare to jail defenseless children. After calming Hulk down with his words, Nightmare shows up and captures Doctor Strange, leaving Hulk to search for Banner once again. Later, Banner challenges the Hulk, matching the Hulk's power with Iron Man XLIV. He clarifies that he needs to aggravate him more than he currently is in order to avoid starting a fight. In response, Hulk descends from a tremendous height and turns back into a sleeping Banner in the waking world. When Man-Thing gets there, he grabs Banner midair. Nightmare brings Doctor Strange back to his stronghold, where he imprisons him in the contraption that allows people to experience their worst nightmares via illusions. Breaking out from the delusion, Doctor Strange asserts that he is in control of his anxieties. When the Hulk destroys the barrier between them, Nightmare reveals that the gadget lets him attach to the waking world and creates a doorway to traverse across universes. He goes on to say that once he crosses over, he will have unbounded power and be able to reach every fearful soul. When Sitwell's group returns to the Sanctum Sanctorum, they find that the other monsters have escaped and put Banner back in his bed. He attempts to contact Doctor Strange, but because Nightmare has him in her grip, he is not answering. Agent Sitwell advises that in order to cover more land, they divide. When Nina reaches the Minotaur, she applies her mind control abilities on him. Man-Thing locates the one-eyed tentacle monster and knocks it unconscious by throwing him over a building, while Warwolf locates the bull-looking monster and stuns it with his weapon. Agent Sitwell locates the insect-like creature and uses a kick to knock it unconscious. Returning to the Dream Dimension, Hulk discovers Nightmare, whose composed manner suggests that he has already defeated Banner. The spatial barrier, which Nightmare says would serve as the entrance to his conquest, is being smashed by Hulk. He is corrected by Hulk, who says that it seems more like an escape hatch. This is Banner's cue to show up in his Iron Man outfit and smash the gadget. While Hulk, Banner, and Doctor Strange keep Nightmare occupied, Doctor Strange leads the imprisoned kids along the correct route, since they are unable to use the portal to exit the realm. 
When the kids reach the bridge, their terror comes out in full force, with the exception of Anna, who shudders at the thought of her anxiety. Benito explains that such things have no power if they confront their fears and set an example for others. After Nightmare uses his power to strike Benito, he goes back to helping Anna, but Benito is stuck in his terror form, the Minotaur, while the original bodies of Anna and the other children transform back into humans. Nightmare and the Gateway burst as Banner fires a plasma cannon at the apparatus. When Agent Sitwell's crew of terrifying creatures awakens the other children, they are scared. Meanwhile, Doctor Strange and Banner arrive and find themselves back in the real world. They are pals who, although imprisoned in the dream dimension, have been guarding their actual bodies, according to Doctor Strange. When they discover Benito imprisoned in the Minotaur's body and that Nightmare has entered the waking world, their triumphant celebration is abruptly ended. Nightmare asserts that he has an army of dreams at his disposal, despite their numerical disadvantage. When he had amassed sufficient strength, he changed into an enormous monster. The guy who instills dread was unaffected by Guy Thing's abilities, and Hulk was easily swatted aside when he attempted to charge at it. When Nina uses her vampire abilities to try to steal Nightmare's energy, she ends up being taken down. When Warwolf attacks on his own, he is dispatched fast. In order to complete his potent spell, Doctor Strange wants everyone to divert Nightmare's attention. While Benito charges at him, Hulk throws stones at Nightmare, causing him to lose his footing while Warwolf and Nina hold his feet down. Doctor Strange shrinks him back to his former size as Man-Thing uses his ability to keep him down as he falls on his back. Now that Nightmare has returned to his former self, he is being shoved and punched by everyone. Feeling lost, he tries one final time to get Hulk to come along with him, but Hulk turns back into Banner and slams Nightmare back into his reality after making comments about how helpless Banner is. Everyone was jubilant with Nightmare's defeat, with the exception of Benito, who remained imprisoned as a Minotaur. Hulk intervenes and offers him counsel when Warwolf's attempts to console him fall short. He clarifies that in the end, you get to decide who you are, regardless of how other people see you. He advised him to enlist in the Paranormal Containment Unit so he could surround himself with supporters and people who embrace him for who he is. Afterwards, Hulk proposes that they rename their squad the Howling Commandos, like Captain America's former squad. After resolving that, Doctor Strange tells the kids to return home and waits for a plane to take them from Child. The story concludes with them congregating in the Sanctum Sanctorum to discuss their emotions, including the Hulk.